Hey everyone, welcome to story time. Today, Orange and I will be reading the story of the Ugly Duckling. I'm not sure where Orange is, but he should be here any moment. Carrying a cup of sulfuric acid. Herp, derp, 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 whoop, whoop, ah! my trip. Ha uh ha, -huh, man. I totally disintegrated today's bus. What a tragic, totally unintentional accident. <laughs> uh, I had a feeling something like this might happen. That's why I came armed today with a backup book. Sorry to disappoint you, Orange. Oh, I'm not disappointed. I brought a backup book, too. Shall we begin? Dude, that's not even the same book. You're right. Hmm, this book situation certainly puts us in a bind, doesn't it? <laughs> bind. Orange, I'm telling the story this time. Got it? You're here for color commentary only. Got it. Color commentary. And that color will definitely be orange. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm afraid of. Now then. Once upon a time, there was a baby duck who looked different from all his brothers and sisters. And man, was this dude ugly. Millennials would look at all the other cute ducklings and be all like, aww, and take Instagram photos with him. But now with this ugly duckling, when people saw this duckling, they couldn't help but bark a little in their mouths. <laughs> no, they didn't. Well, that's true. They didn't all bark in their mouths. Some of the more forward-thinking millennials decided to take pictures with Ugmo because he made them look better by comparison. <laughs> Orange, stop. There are no millennials taking selfies in the story of the ugly duckling. Yo mama's duckling so ugly he laid down for a beauty nap and slipped into a coma. <laughs> uh, can we please get back to the real story now? Yo mama's duckling so ugly he got dropped out for school and they find his mama for littering. <laughs> no. Anyway, the other ducklings always made fun of the ugly duckling. Whose nickname was Ugmo. His nickname was not Ugmo. Yeah, huh? it says so right here in the book. You aren't reading the right book. Oh yeah. Well, for being honest, I'm not even reading that book. I'm making this all up straight out the dome. Ah. <laughs> anyway, according to the story in my mind, all throughout his childhood and high school years, Ugmo got teased for being so ugly. Okay, yeah, that's not exactly wrong. The other ducklings were mean to him and called him names. Names like Ugmo, which actually was his name. Orange. Ah. Anyway, so this teasing went on for years. Until the ducks all got back together for their high school reunion. They got to talking and realized none of them had heard from Ugmo for years. They all really hoped he'd show up because it had been a while since they'd been able to make fun of him to his face. And that's when a huge fancy limo pulled up to the reunion and Ugmo stepped out. See, he had grown up into a beautiful swan. What? No, not even close. He'd grown up to be the supermodel Cindy Crawford. Wait, wait, what, what? You're telling me a duckling grew up to be a human supermodel from the 90s? You can grow up to be anything you want to be, Pear. I'm surprised he didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> but wait. There's more. Sure, Akmo had the beautiful face of Cindy Crawford, but he was even more beautiful than that. He had Brad Pitt's abs, Taylor Lautner's biceps, Kim Kardashian's rear end, the tail of a Westminster dog show winner, the eyes of the most beautiful snake you've ever seen. Hold on. You're telling me Ugmo grew up to have the tail of a dog, the eyes of a snake, and it was beautiful because of it? Duh. I said it was a beautiful snake, didn't I? And beautiful might not even be a strong enough word. Ugmo is now so stunning. People started throwing up in their mouths because Ugmo was so beautiful to look at. One guy even started crying Ugmo was so beautiful, but Ugmo wiped away his tears with a hundo. <laughs> I'm sorry, a hundo? A hundred dollar bill, Pear. Sheesh. Now that Ugmo was the most beautiful creature on the planet, he was super rich. So of course he had hundos up the wazoo. Well, I'm telling you, Ugmo was swimming in it Scrooge McDuck style. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure how this is important to the moral of the story regarding inner beauty, but... Tell me, Pear, have you ever sucked up a spill with a hundo? You should try. They're so absorbent. And they only cost $100. Get your hands on some if you can, folks. They work 50% better than the leading paper towel brand. <laughs> Wait, why exactly is the story turning into a commercial for $100 bills. So what you talking about? $100 bills don't need a commercial. They practically sell themselves. Oh, that's it. This video is over. Look at that absorbency. That's a clinical test right there, folks. They even sop up some beer acid. Uh oh, no, guess not. Uh, the <laughs> end. Call in order now. Wait, no. no, no wait, wait.